Hi everyone, welcome back to the Jello Night in the Woods channel. I've got a quick video for you, a sort of response video if you like, to my uh, my new friend Mike from the Strat 2206 channel. I'll put uh, an annotation of his channel up on the screen. Uh, good guy, obviously he knows what he's talking about, got some good videos up there. Um, we've been having a chat recently about our uh, neck knife arrangements following my posting of this, uh, the video on this Condor uh, kit that I put together. And we've sort of been going backwards and forwards talking about what arrangements we've got and why we're using different bits and bobs, so on and so forth. You know, we've both put forward some good and valid suggestions on, on the arrangements. Um, but what we decided to do was just post a video each and, and uh, demonstrate the weight of each arrangement. Now, the good thing about YouTube and this uh, sort of bushcraft channel that we're all involved with and interested in is that it's not a case of, you know, yours is better than mine, so on and so forth. It's about sharing ideas and, and improving what we're using and how we're using it. Um, sharing knowledge, learning from each other. Um, and, uh, you know, it's a, a very natural conclusion, really, that we came to, that we didn't even really need to come to it, it was just there all along, that these sorts of things, uh, you know, they're going to be different, they're going to be tailored to each uh, and everybody's individual needs and requirements. And it was interesting finding out why he carried what he did and, and uh, you know, explaining why I put on here what I did. I think Mike's arrangement is more along the lines of potentially a survival kit. So that if everything else failed and everything else was lost, he'd still have the knife, a fishing kit, a flashlight, um, fire starting capabilities as well. Whereas mine really, I, I decided just to put together as a, as a little additional helping hand when I'm out. You know, if I happen to be 20 feet away from my pack and I need a blade, I've got the neck knife there. It's one that I can use for utility tasks. It's something I can hang from the ridge line in the tarp and have you know a little light there instead of necessarily having to find a flashlight. Um, a whistle is an obvious thing to keep with you uh, for, for any signal and if you happen to get immediately you know you can you can fall over and sprain an ankle badly and need a whistle for people that you're with you know 30 meters away to signal that you're in trouble. Um, but additionally, I put the capability on the back there of just some tinder with the fire starter just in case as well. Um, paracord, I've not really done anything with the paracord other than just looped it around a couple of times. This is not meant to be a length that I can take off here and use for any serious shelter be, um, building capability. Um, so it's a difference in why we put these things together. Um, so we decided to wait. Let's go ahead with that. Um, I think Mike and his arrangement, uh, he did the knife first, so that's what I'll do. And um, we're in gram, so let's just zoom into the uh, into the uh, scales a little bit more for you there. Knife first of all, I think uh, Mike's Beck and Necker weighed in at 80 grams, if I remember right. Um, let's just see what this Condor one comes in at. And that weighs, I don't know if you can see that there, but 48 grams, exactly. Um, so, what, 32 grams lighter, just, just over half the weight of the Beckenecker. Uh, different knives, obviously, built for different purposes. He's got a lot more beef and probably strength to his. This is, um, you know, much smaller, finer work um, utility blade. Uh, but that's the, that's the weight of that. So if I bung this back in the sheath, and we'll see what the entire arrangement weighs, uh, weighs in at. Let's try and get it nice and equal there. Uh, so the overall weight of my arrangement is 118 grams and I think Mike's originally came in at 200 grams um, and then of course he went on and added the um, sharpening stone which I think took it up to about 250 but we'll go with 200 which was the original setup that, that he showed me and I saw. Uh, so that's the, that's the comparison guide and remember this is really just about comparing uh, and giving you guys an idea of the weight of the two different knives it's not again I want to stress it's not about saying whose is good and whose isn't we need to put our kit together to suit our own individual skill sets and our own requirements and our own in, uh, environment and that really is the important message so uh, there you go guys just a really quick one for you um, see you in the next video